What is up guys and gals, Space Unicorn here, bringing you some hot frag action. So today guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing in, and this is going to be a four part series by the way guys, so we're going to be focusing in on the individual characters that got buffed and nerfed. We're really going to dive in there and talk about how it's going to affect the game and what it's going to do over time for the players of frag. Now with that being said guys, please do be a huge favorite. Please be to like, comment, and subscribe on the video so your support is truly appreciated. And I can't do this stuff without you. You guys are that much a part of this community that we are building together. So if you could do me that favor, I would appreciate it. That being said, let's get into the game. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> And of course, we're going to start with the first character, the one that I am very interested in, and that is Arkin. Now, if I do end up in a match with Marco Polo, guys, just an FYI, I will have to cut it out and we'll go into... Really? Really, Frag? Can you set it so you don't get matched up with Marco Polo? Alrighty guys, so here we go. We're going to dive into Arkin. This is going to be the first episode of this mini-series that we are going to do. So why is Arkin interesting to me? Well, let's start simply. Arkin is designed in a way that he takes a pretty large amount of skill to play because his shots are delayed. He doesn't have hit scan, is basically what I'm saying. And that means that during the time of that uh, round's travel, he is very hard to aim with as you guys see here now the increase in the firing rate is good for this character because it is the one thing that held this character way back and is why i did not rank him as an s grade hero i ranked him as an a grade hero because he even played at max potential he was still held back very very well now with that being said do i think they went a little too far with the uh, upgrade for this character or the buff i'm not sure to be honest um, the thing with this character is, is as I stated before, he has a rather high skill cap. So what that means is the better you are, the more value you're going to get out of this character. His AI is horrendous like every other character in the game. And quite truthfully, he moves extremely slow. And <laughs> that's just the way that it is. With that being said, he can be easily managed by most of the tanks in the game. And a character such as an Andromeda, which I'm really tired of as well, um, can easily wreck this character. Now, his ultimate ability, I'm not sure why they buffed that. Um, that part didn't make sense to me. The fire rate made sense to me because it makes him a, possibly a viable character for meta discussion, which is very interesting to me because... Dude, I miss how... how? Somebody explain to me how that missed? I would love to hear the explanation. Thank you. Um, a viable character for medical discussions. And the reason that is interesting to me is because of the fact we have not had a ranged character in meta for a extremely long time. Uh, I like changes in meta. I don't like stagnant meta. Stagnant meta like being what we had recently with the blot push one side. Push the Lucha and the Hannibal. Or the Lucha and the Ronin or the Hannibal and the Ronin on the other side. And bada bing bada boom you win matches. That's, that's boring. You need to keep it fresh in order for a game to succeed. You have to keep adapting the game to be something uh, more. If that makes sense. You guys following what I'm saying with that real quick? Now with all that being said... There's a couple other things that make this character interesting to me. Um, so we're going to get another match here, guys. Um, what we're going to do, I need you guys to understand, if I get in a match with Marco Polo, I have to cut it out. Um, and then we'll come back as soon as we get in that bonus. So let me get into a match, and I'll bring you guys right Alrighty, guys. Looks like we have one here without Marco Polo in it. This is actually the third match that I've been trying to get without him in it. Um, so, as I was stating, how do I think this is going to... Um, affect the game of frag as a whole well to start very simply with you here um, I think he may sneak into meta discussion and I know it's gonna make some people mad because they don't want a new meta they want the meta to stay the same they want to use the cards they have I understand your frustrations 
But I also understand that if you don't keep the game fresh, the game will die. And the Blot meta had been around for far too long. Blot BB, Blot BB, Blot BB. Every single team was running Blot and BB. That is the need for the change. And Arkin buff gives us the chance to see something different, to see a different skill set of player come into the game. Because Arkin's firing mechanics and play mechanics are so different than what people are currently doing in the game. That is something that excites me and makes the game interesting. I want that game to feel that way. I want it to feel interesting. Because truthfully, stagnant game is a dead game. Really? You gonna shoot me in the back, Smoker? You gonna shoot me in the back? Now, with all that being said, guys, there is something that I want to address here. This is directed more towards the OBB team. Um, if you're going to keep changing characters drastically, I actually had a conversation with somebody in my comment section uh, last night about this, and I completely understand where she's coming from. I want to make this clear. Um, if you're going to keep changing characters, you need to <laughs> you need to stop making it feel so money grabby. You really do. It feels like you just make somebody fall in love with a game character, and then you take it away from them. Now, with that being said, I do enjoy the blot nerf. It was needed. You can't keep running the same thing over and over again. Sorry. It's just not the way it works. But it isn't right to take away somebody else's ability to play that card because it's time to change. Now, I do think that Blot feels much more balanced now. I want to make that clear. I like the changes from this update. I really do. I think it feels better. Not fixed, but better. But I do think, guys, for those of you guys that are playing Arkin, I would expect him to get changed again, too. I just have a suspicion that this is going to be overwhelming. Not sure. Just bear with me on that thought, guys. So that being said, guys, we have dived into Arkin and why I like the changes for this character. Talked about a little bit more in depth. We're gonna do this for each character, guys. Uh, we're just our Arkin just happened to be the first one. It's completely random, and like I said, it was very funny because as I recorded this video, was recording this video, I got a message on YouTube from somebody um, in regards to the blot nerf, and I was like, wow, that's very ironic. So I figured I would mention that and basically say, hey, I understand your frustrations. Um, but that's the way this game is. The game needs to stay fresh. That's why I stress free to play so much. I understand. I get it. So, please keep playing. But take your time and understand that cards that feel strong are going to be changed. That's the way the game works. I already know they're working on a few more. So with that being said, guys... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the down there. And I will see you legends next time. Bye-bye.